In this problem, we want to evaluate each piecewise function at the given values of the independent variable. So, get there eventually. There we go. And we got f of x is equal to 4x minus 2, 8x minus 1. And this is if uh, x is less than 0. And this one is if x is greater than or equal to 0. Part A. We want to find f of negative 3. Now remember, when your number is inside the parentheses, when you got function notation, that's your x. So they're telling us x is negative 3. Well, we come up here and we want to plug that into our conditions. So I put negative 3 here, negative 3 here. So we got negative 3 is less than 0 and negative 3 is greater than or equal to 0. You see which one's true. Well, negative 3 is less than 0. Since this one's true, we plug it into this piece. So I got 4 times negative 3 minus 2. 4 times negative 3 is negative 12 minus 2, which gives us negative 14. Now for b, we want to find f of 0. And again, whatever's inside your parentheses here is your x, so they're telling us x is equal to 0. And we're going to plug that into our conditions here. So we're going to have 0 is less than 0 and 0 is greater than or equal to 0. Well, this one's true. Um, it's not greater than, but it's equal to. So I'm going to plug it into this piece. So I got 8 times 0 minus 1. And 8 times 0 drops away, so our answer is negative 1. And C, we want to find f of 5. And again, whatever number's inside your parentheses is your x, so telling us x is 5. And we plug that into our conditions over here, so put 5 is less than 0 and 5 is greater than or equal to 0. And you see which one is true. Well, 5 is greater than 0, so we'll plug it into this piece. So I got 8 times 5 minus 1, which gives us 40 minus 1, or 39. And those are our answers.